Hey guys, it's me Obed, and today we will see what are the exact challenges we face when we're trying to use AI agent in terms of any development work we want, right? So we have this Figma, and it is actually uh, the product I was working on for for someone. So and I built this, right? So. Uh, I, I have this application ready and it's working on my local host. I can just show you. So this is the application. You see this is exactly similar to here and it is actually functional, right? So I have basically what we want is whenever the user comes in, they can write their instructions or prompts. Uh, and they want to generate graphs based on those prompts so i can just write uh generate a graph for population of countries and can just create that uh, i can i can just uh, uh, show the demo in this video and you can also go back there because I may have to run the backend and all that. Uh, that is not the goal of this video. So I already and use that. generated. So I already recorded this uh, demo here. So yeah. So when I ask for a uh, population of countries, it gives me back the flask server yeah. and hit so population of countries graphs so these are the graphs bar charts and these are the line chart and the pie chart or some more right so this is like the exact application we will try to develop using ai and i will show you up to what extent ai can be used and where it will it will fail you right it will just waste your time like uh, and you, you can't you can't get to a point where you just ask and it gives you back the same result because the whole project will get affected uh, by that one pain point so I'll just show you uh, okay so you get the idea for this graph and before that, if you're working on any custom project, you can reach out to email or WhatsApp for the technical consultancy or any help. Uh, and you can join my UB community where you can get the coaching, one-to-one -one weekly discussions, and obviously technical consultancy on anything you are working on. All the links will be in the description. Now let's see what is the agent we are using. So this is lovable and i'll just trying this new agent you know to uh, to have uh, to check like whether it is different and it uh, to be honest uh, no agent can be different because the baseline is the llm listening to or not listening like reacting to your prompts right so uh, they all have system prompts which which actually works right so and okay uh, let's just not go in that direction so I'll just show you the journey of developing this app I just uh, like use my snipping tool and I get this image and I write three words please build this and it gave me actually good results not exact results but good results i mean if i am a flexible person i will i will go for that but if you and most founders are uh, you know looking for something which very uh like closely map to their mind or to their ideas right so that is like number one point you you have to consider so uh here if I just go here, uh, 
yeah so we get this ai generated this all of this right which is very awesome now i i don't know why it uh, just brought this uh, charts in the bottom i did not ask for that and i provide some more images and it yeah. just uh gives uh like all the all the detailings and all the front end thing now i asked for let me just check you again so what i asked for is mm, please extend this home page which it already did so i asked for when i click on get started it should redirect me to this page and i provided this page this exact page uh and it was actually doing that one thing which i noticed i said for get started but it automatically chose this uh to redirect i don't know why but uh let's say let's say it's negligible this page is very similar to what we have but <laughs> to be honest it's only have like two boxes right so yeah this page uh and this page now uh so the main pain point what's your goal of the application or goal of the mvp or goal of the startup you are building is to generate graphs based on user instructions but when i say generate a graph for papu relation of countries and i'll just graph name it randomly like generate something obviously it's looking some real graphs like we are having in our actual application but the main motive dies right you you don't know what it will create right so you have now uh, coming to a founder point of view so i have this idea uh, of uh, like building a platform where user can ask me to generate graphs and we will show them the generated graphs using ai now uh, ai when i ask like to generate a product it generates something random right and like your your development or like your front end is not uh is not gonna solve anything right and at this point so i just asked for uh build the graphs based on instruction build for graphs so it automatically did something random some some error but you know it didn't even ask for what what should be the pipeline how the graphs we will take care of it just uh didn't apply any logic but it tried to solve this ts versus jsx or python versus scala thing right <laughs> which you know uh some programmer even do but the main point of programming is you are trying to solve a problem rather than writing code itself right so these these agents i think they are good for writing that for loops writing that codes right code snippet which can help developers right so a founder which is uh interested in getting that application ready will stuck will absolutely stuck will waste a lot of time in using this right so yeah that that was my uh take on these agents and i wanted to show this just to you know uh have this understanding of what the ai agent can do and what not okay and i'll meet you in the next video thanks